What's up? Action Hannah 55 and welcome back to another video where today we are doing episode 2 of the Black Ops 4 Best Gun Competition. I'm really excited for part 2 as part 1 was pretty good. So we had the MX-9 versus the GKS and of course one of my favourites the MX-9 one. The GKS just couldn't compete. So let's get on to the video right guys we are now in our first game and our first contender as you can see is the spitfire now all it has on it is reflex because i didn't want to put attachments on it because that would just be confusing and then it wouldn't be fair but i love the spitfire so let's play with it so we are playing on summit i don't like this map but it was so nearly seaside it was like five to five for the votes and then it decided to be summit, so that's a bit upsetting. And we're dead already. Oh, well done. Like, nice, nice. Just what I love to see. So, just some stats for the Spitfire. It's in-game description is fully auto submachine gun fastest fire rate in class with high recoil i agree with the high recoil oh killed got to kill and got killed i agree with the high recoil and it's ridiculously fast this thing so it has 34 rounds so a pretty small mag but it shoots it just shoots so fast the fast shooting pretty much makes up for everything Oh, I had to punch someone because I ran out of ammo. See, that's the small mag coming through. So, with extended mags, it has uh, 50 rounds. So, if you want to use this gun, like, at all the time, like, everyday usage, let's say, then, yeah, I'd put extended mags on this. Because it's pretty slow. And it is great, usually. Usually, not always. At close quarters. However, it struggles at longer range gun fights. Boom. Yep, yeah, that indeed is a kill. And I'd say ELO is the best optic, but I'm just using Reflex because it's the, I think it's the only um, a sight that every single gun in the game has. I might be wrong. Some guns might not have it, but that's what I think anyway. And I would say that this gun is good. Ah, you lucky person. I'd say this gun is good in modes like, yeah, I'm, I'm shook, I'm going. In modes like domination or like when you just like want to get a quick kill and then dash out again, like that. Like if you just want to get a kill and be like, bye, I'm, I'm off. That's what I'd use this gun for. And I'm going to chase you down. No need, apparently. Where is everyone? Hey ho, hey ho, off the fine people we go. I, I like this gun a lot. I use it pretty often in team deathmatch. And I really, I, again, I'm dying to tell you what the next contestant is, but I won't, I'll leave it. Why are you hiding behind our barricade? I'll leave it until um, next match to tell you gonna leave you in suspense i'm gonna see if, if that guy's still there i'm gonna did i fall off the edge oh no they're probably around here i don't know where is everyone oh they're behind me apparently what does everyone show up behind me oh dear okay so an interesting thing that I found on the internet, now the internet is probably full of lies, so let's take this with a pinch of salt. But, apparently, Blackout is going to become free. I know, let's let that sink in. Blackout's going to come become free, so presumably, that is so that Call of Duty can compete with Fortnite, which... Oh my god, I love that game. I'm a bit on and off with it, because I didn't play it for like a long time, but 
think I'm gonna start getting back into it. Would you guys like to see videos on Fortnite or you're not interested in it anymore? That's what I'd like to know, because a YouTuber I like watching, who mainly played Black Ops 4, is now back onto Fortnite, because apparently Fortnite's all the rage again now. I'm not too sure about that. I want to know what you guys think of me playing Fortnite again. And, I just have to mention this. In my previous video, I announced the Founders Club is a thing. So if you didn't see that, first of all, watch that. But definitely, 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 definitely subscribe to be in the Founders Club. Oh my god, three kills. Could that be the play of the game? I hope so. 14 and 7, so 2KD. We're doing pretty good. Pretty good with this thing. Yeah, you're not staying away from me, mate. Oh, 15 and 7. I think I popped off a bit there with the, like, three kills in a row. See if I can do that with our next gun when that happens. Just gonna go looking for people again. Cause Ooh! Bloodthirsty! Oh I love the announcer man. He said some funny things like we're only as strong as our weakest link and Yeah, it's like we're only as strong as our weakest link. Is that you? Oh, the voice lines in this game are funny, because, like, Ruin says some funny voice lines as well. Please die. Please die, please die. Whoa, where are you, Firebreak? Where is that Firebreak? It's annoying, because you can never see the Firebreak when they're doing their, like, reactical, I think it's called. I don't know, I'm not a Firebreak expert. Never played him in my life. Oh, dear. That is the definition of camping. That guy right there is the definition of camping. Also, is it true that lots of people think Black Ops 4 is dead? I do not think this is dead, otherwise I would not be making videos on it. I'd say this is a pretty lit game, and I'm now officially level 55, so it can't be that dead, otherwise I wouldn't have played it that, this far, would I? Also, are there any like skins or camos do you guys think I should buy? Boom! Skins or camos you think I should buy? Or like any videos you want me to make? Because I'm happy to do them. Let's see this. It's not me. Is this guy on my team? Are they? Don't know. This isn't... No, it's the camping guy. That wasn't that great. I got four kills too. Right. Well, I guess we are on to the next game. Hello, guys. We are now in the next match. So our next contender is the Cordite. I love this gun. This was the gun that I used, like, before the Vapor. So, like, right at the beginning of the game. I used the Vapor, the preset class, and I loved it. So we'll see if it is just as good without any attachments. I'm not sure. I, th I, am, I hope so. So in the last match, we got 17 kills to 9 deaths, which is 1.89 KD. So let's see if we can beat that with the Cordite, which should make it go through to the next round. So just some stats for you. The in-game description is full auto, submachine gun, well-rounded with a large ammo pool. I agree, this thing has a bare big ammo pool. So we have 60 rounds, which is a lot bigger than most SMGs. Boom. And with extended mag, you get 90 rounds. So this has definitely got a hefty magazine, which is pretty cool. And it also has low re recoil, which is another bonus because you don't want any recoil. But you know, low, mm, low recoil is just as good. And it is best in close to medium range. And assault rifle users would. Oh, dearie me! What a shocking performance that was! So, assault rifle users would probably have the upper hand in uh, long range gunfights. So, just try and keep like relative close 
Oh, dearie me. Cool dog, bro, you need to get better. This thing has a slow reload time, but the larger magazine definitely makes up for that in most cases. So I, I quite like this gun, and I'd say this is good for free for all and team death match. Anyone? 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 Who are my teammates shooting at? Oh, I thought that was a teammate, but damn it. Oh, the struggles of Call of Duty. Let's see if I can get this back to positive, though I doubt at the moment. The Cordite is definitely better with about a million attachments on it. So far, the Spitfire is nice. So far the Spitfire is winning. I feel like I'm just playing worse this game though. Oh well, we'll see. Oh, we're winning now. Yeah, see, we can win, like, I can win at like very close range, like on top of me close range. But, oh, that wasn't really my fault. Then that guy just ran off. So I'm gonna have to get in close, you scumbag. I can never tell when someone's in front of me or behind me. Does anyone else have that problem or is it just me? Just me, okay. Lovely. Who are you shooting at, teammate? I'll get in and pick them off. Or not, this thing is mm, not great with attachments. Enemy UAV above. The way this is going, the Spitfire's going through. Oh, I like this gun though. Oh dear, struggles. Struggles, struggles. That's why we use this gun at close to medium range. So, again from the internet, so it might not be accurate, but apparently League Play is coming to Black Ops 4. I th not sure what that is, I think that's like competitive play from like Overwatch or whatever. Oh, that was an enemy. I was like, why is someone bouncing on my head? Okay, six and ten. We're not doing great with this quarter. So I know I said this last match, but remember to join the Founders Club because last video, the announcement video for it, I gained five subscribers and if I do end up getting 100 subscribers by the end of the year. You guys will get a probably a badge. Depends if I can like find a shop that will do 100 badges. But I'm not paying for the badges. You guys are gonna buy them off of um, the the site. So when the 100th person subscribes, I'll let you guys know. And then you guys can start DMing me your email addresses. But I don't really use my Twitter at the moment. It's more just like to say when I've uploaded. But I'm gonna, oh dear, I'm gonna start using it for when I, like just cool stuff really. So like, what I'm playing, how I'm doing, just, like shouting you guys out. So always, always comment and stuff. I have a Facebook as well. I'm not sure many people knew that, but I have a Facebook link to that in the description as well. It's always in my description. No! Right, well, we've got seven and 13 with the Cordite and we've got 17 and nine with the Spitfire. So that means that the Spitfire is going through. Congratulations, Spitfire. I must say the call that let me down a teeny bit, but I was probably playing bad. Oh, well, that is the end. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up, like, subscribe to join the Founders Club. And until next time, goodbye, guys.